This is prototype one of my PC digitizer. This is a single microcontroller based unit which interfaces a computer through a serial protocol using this FTDI cable. So I'll show you here what I use to interface. This is a big long cord, but it's a USB port on one side, which I plug into my laptop. And this runs on Linux or Windows or Macintosh. Right now it's running Linux. Uh, this is a TTL232R V or 3V3. So it's a 3 volt TTL USB adapter. It's pretty much a USB serial port based on an FTDI chip. Uh, these cables are about 10 bucks, which is a lot more than some of the other options, but it's a very standard cable and the drivers are installed by default on modern Windows operating systems. Uh, so I designed this board here. This is actually the first board that I made at home. Um, you can see the heart of it is an AT Mega 48 microcontroller. It has some uh, sensor indicator LEDs. This is where it connects with the FTDI cable. Uh, these are six analog to digital converter inputs on this side. The inputs are the inset pins and the outset pins are ground. So I can easily plug in uh, ground and a single device here. So this will let me record six channels at the same time. Um, and then there's some power regulation circuitry, and then there's the back. So you can see the trace came out pretty well. I'm, I'm satisfied with the etching, and on the upper left, AJ4VD, that's my radio identifier. So this, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply power. So remember this cable is the FTDI standard cable. It gets power from the USB port. Now <laughs> that's a lot of brightness there. This LED is a power LED, and it's going through a 220 ohm resistor, but still it's very, very bright, as you can see, so I might want to tone that down a bit. Uh, this light indicates that it is sending data to the computer, and this light indicates that it's receiving some data from the computer. Um, that should be enough here. I'll go ahead and... Oh, so I used this board to program it. This is a, uh, a simple clone of a AVR MK2. AVR ISP MK2. I got this one from DIY or fun F U N for DIY.com. So F U N the number four DIY.com. I think it's twelve dollars shipping included. You can have this programmer, USB programmer. Uh, it works on Linux. So I use that to program the board. I can. I have some headers which are located these two here and these three down here. I can just add jumpers to and program the board. So this is ready to go. So again, this is the device, the analog to digital converter, and it's six channels and it's plugged into the USB port of the computer. So if I load a program called Qtcom, I can view the status of the serial port. So I've written the software so that it uses this USB uh, at a 38400 baud rate. So that's 38,400 letters a second. And if I, when I open the device, you can see the numbers coming through are digits. Those are five, I guess it's only sending five channels right now. One, two, three, four, five. The actual values between uh, zero and 1024 because it's a 10 bit analog to digital converter. So I'm only going to be looking at the first column here. I wrote some software which will graph one channel in real time. And this is running now. This is written in Python. These are the values as they're coming in. And uh, I guess this value is not being shown for some reason, but I won't worry about it for now. And again, this is the voltage of channel 1. And uh, nothing is hooked up right now, so it's just floating. If I were to attach a potentiometer to channel 1 and raise it up and down, you'd see this line go up and down. Uh, if I just touch the pen, you can see what happens as I release and then touch again. Those uh, squiggly lines represent radio frequency, which is being uh, emitted by the wires on the walls, the 60 hertz uh, for the AC mains. It's being absorbed by my body and, my, and traveling on the surface of my skin. So as I touch it, you can see the uh, 60 hertz on the screen. And then there's a little bit of capacitance, I guess, on the input of this microcontroller pin. So you can see it slowly goes back up there. Um, this is ready to plug in anything to. I could plug in a direct voltage measurement if I had some type of sensor from 0 to 5 volts. Or what I plan to do is make a separate board, which is a... Uh, high definition amplifier based around an AD620 differential amplifier. That's the amplifier I use for, for my ECG machine. So I plan to make my ECG machine work on here, potentially an EEG, uh, potentially a pulse oximeter or 
you know, whatever other test equipment I want. And again, this is six channels, so I can have six lines graphed at the same time, and of course that data can be logged. So keep in touch and uh, look closely at the YouTube, and I'll post developments as they come. Oh, the circuit board is here. I designed it in the program called Eagle and uh, it helped with the layout and everything and I used the toner transfer method with uh, muriatic acid and hydrochloric acid to etch this board